మరి రంగారెడ్డి అర్బన్ ఇన్ఛార్జ్గా ఈరోజు మనకు ఇక్కడ వారి సేవలు అందిస్తున్నారు అలాగే డాక్టర్ నరేష్ గారు ఇంతకుముందు రాష్ట్ర అధికార ప్రతినిధిగా పనిచేసి షేర్లింగపల్లి నియోజకవర్గం నుంచి భారతీయ జనతా పార్టీ అభ్యర్థిగా మద్దతు పలుకుతూ ఈరోజు ఈ యొక్క పత్రికా సమావేశంలో పాల్గొంటారు ముందుగా డాక్టర్ అశ్వత్ నారాయణ గారిని మాట్లాడవలసిందిగా కోరుతున్నాం అందరూ నా నమస్కారం మై బెస్ట్ విషెస్ అండ్ టు ఆల్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆఫ్ మీడియా ఐ మియర్ టు బేసికలీ టు ఫోకస్ అండ్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ద గ్యారంటీస్ విత్ ద కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ had announced before the polls in the state of Karnataka the five guarantees what they had promised before the election. After, after coming to the power, they had promised that they are going to implement all the five guarantees immediately on assuming the office without even wasting a minute. now already they have completed 6 months the five guarantees on which basis they have come to the power they have not delivered the guarantees i would like to speak about these five guarantees with their promise in the state of karnataka the first one the yuva nidhi the yuva nidhi is basically meant for the unemployed youths who have passed out that i should 3000 rupees for a graduate 1500 rupees for a diploma person for a period of 1 year 2 uh, years which has not started the unity the first program itself what they had promised had not been still implemented the second guarantee jyoti the grow jyoti what they started in the month of in the month of august they had promised 200 units to each and every household in the state of karnataka there are nearly 2.14 crore consumers so far they have given only 74 lakhs consumers only have been given zero electricity bill even in that they had mentioned they will be giving 200 units for each and every consumer every consumer but now they have come out with lot of conditions they come out with lot of condition only for the people who consume less than 200 units they are going to give this free power and not to the people consuming more than 200 units even within 200 units if a person is consuming 40 units he will be given only 44 for example if he is consuming 60 units he will be given plus 10 percent 66 units it is not 200 units okay with all these conditions it's okay even with all these they are not delivering to most of the people so far they have not paid any payment to even the escoms escom also they have not paid any payment escoms are in bankruptcy literally they are not in a position to buy power supply power there has been load shedding power cuts completely there have been power cuts the amount what they should have paid to the escom so far already it is around 8500 crores so far they have made only 1400 crores payment already the escoms were in red they were not in a position to run so this is the second guarantee the third guarantee the grow lakshmi the grow lakshmi they had promised each and every household of bpl card below poverty line there are 1 crore 28 lakhs below poverty households in this 1 crore 28 28 lakh households 
as per their numbers what they have shared 1 crore 16 lakh people have enrolled it, it has started from the month of August so far they should have made a payment of 9,300 crores per month 2,500 crores per month 2,500 crores is the amount Two thousand five hundred crores they should release every month. So far, for the past many months, they have released only in the four months they have just released only two thousand hundred crores. Again, is nine thousand three hundred crores. Again, is nine thousand three hundred crores they have just released only two thousand hundred crores. Each month they should have released 2,500 crores directly to their each of their accounts. They are giving various reasons. And with regard to the fourth one, Anna Bhagya. In the Anna Bhagya, the Congress party had promised 10 kg. 10 kg rice for each person. 10 kgs. Now not even... 5 kgs they are giving. Now only the 5 kg, what is being given by government of India under the Anna Bhagya? Only 5 kg has been delivered, rest 5 kg, they are not able to provide the 5 kg rice. They have made no arrangements to give the 5 kg what they had promised. That in the 10 kgs, even not even 5 kgs, they are not able to provide to the people of Karnataka. Instead of now, since they made, since we are not able to procure rice, in the place of rice we are going to pay the cash. Even with regard to the cash per head, they were promised, instead of 5 kgs, they had promised 171 rupees. Even the 171 rupees, they are not able to release it. They are not, they have not made payment. Against the 6,500 crore, Payment what they should have made so far to the directly to each and every person, they have made only 1,400 crores, only payment has been made. So this is the kind of state of affairs, the guarantees what is happening in the state of Karnataka. All the guarantees have completely failed with regard to the free bus to the women. That is a Shakti program which has started in the month of July. The Shakti program also what they had promised the free bus ride for each and every woman in the state of Karnataka has completely failed. The money what they are supposed to make payments, each month they are supposed to make 450 crores. Nearly 18 crore women will go, will be traveling in these buses. Each day 84 lakh people. Each day 84 lakh people travel in these buses. So far, no payment has been made to these corporations. By not making any payment, the corporations are not in any position to run these bus services. Even the bus numbers, earlier it was 24,000 buses were running, were playing. Now only 19,000 buses only are playing. The number of buses have reduced and the number of travelers have increased. It has caused a lot of inconvenience to each and every student. The students are not able to travel to their colleges to pursue their studies. They have been put into inconvenience. They are traveling by JCBs, tractors, tillers, all kind of transport modes they have been making use of since they are not able to travel in these buses. Even these bus corporations are not in a position to run these buses because of lack of fund. Each month they should have released 450 crores. They have just released, so far they should have paid 2,500 crores to this corporation. Only so far they have paid 140 crores. Only 140 crores. Imagine the condition of these corporations. How will they be in a, how are they in a position to manage these corporations? So all these false guarantees, what they announced during the election, is a only election model. It is not Karnataka model. Whatever model they have been saying, it is completely failed. They have been cheating the people of Karnataka. 
they want to continue cheating all other states, particularly now in Telangana also, they are promising six guarantees. The five guarantees itself, they are not able to deliver in the state of Karnataka. How will they deliver the six guarantees in Telangana? With regard to all the five guarantees, whatever has been mentioned in the budget, they are also supposed to spend 52,000 crores in the provision of 52,000 crores, so far they have released only 10%. Only 10% of the money has been released. Only 5,000 crores has been released so far. Other than that, no other money has been released. So how can you expect these guarantees to be delivered to the people? The direct benefit transfer itself, when it comes to Anabhagya, it is completely failed. When it comes to Groha Lakshmi, it is completely failed. When it comes to the Grow Jyoti, the power itself is now deficient. We don't have power. A power surplus state, Karnataka was known as a power surplus state. Now we have power deficit. There is a load shedding. The farmers have been given only two hours of power. In rural area, there is no power supply. And this free power has got no meaning. Even this free power, whatever they have promised, it has not been delivered. The scams are any day it can get closed. The bus services, even the doors are falling off the buses, there is no salary payment being made to the bus drivers, bus conductors, only in the place of 2,500 crores, 140 crores has been made. Like this, all the guarantees, whatever have been promised in the Karnataka by Congress government have completely failed. Here they are coming and making all kinds of announcements, our leader, the chief minister, deputy chief minister, and many other AACC president, they have come here and made announcement. They have completely failed. Here also, they just want to win the election by cheating, by false promises. They will not be in a position to deliver anything. Let me make it very clear. Even the chief minister is not guaranteed in the state of Karnataka. He is a temporary chief minister. Their own party people keep claiming he will be a temporary chief minister. Some other person is going to become a chief minister. Nothing is guaranteed. Law and order has completely collapsed. No payments have been made to contractors. In city like Bangalore, it is full of potholes. They are not done. Even a single development work has been done, has been taken up in the city of Bangalore or Karnataka. The contractors have not been paid any money. No development, no governance, no guarantees. So this is a model what Congress is promising across the country and more so in the Telangana state. Anybody, any questions? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, you should ask those MLAs and ministers who have come here, even the Deputy Chief Minister, the Chief Minister who had come here to, uh, to Telangana from the state of Karnataka, you should ask them these questions. The guarantees what you have promised, I am going to give you the, all the press note to each one of you with numbers, with regard to each and every scheme, how, where, what they have done, how much money they have spent, how many people have been benefited, how much money has been directly be benefited, transfer has been done, the kind of proportion, what they should have done, what they have not done. So you can ask this question directly to them. And more so, for the money what they had collected, probably the money what has been seized, the Congress party is answerable and accountable. Money, much of the money was seized in the state of Karnataka as well as in Telangana. This money all belongs to ATM Sarkar, the newly elected six months government in the state of Karnataka, the Congress government. They should answer it is whose money. As far as my uh, opinion or my information, 
as per my information, it is all the money being collected by our ATMs, Congress Sarkar in the state of Karnataka from the, all the crown contractors, from all the transfers, what they have done, the transfers in the state of Karnataka, the kind of money what they had collected has been seized in many places, even in Telangana, what they had delivered, what was delivered in Telangana also has been seized in the state of Karnataka, also in Bangalore, many places this money was seized. So, the Congress party, the Congress leader, the Congress minister, chief minister are accountable. They should answer all these questions. See, all the cash returns, see for example, the money seized, the kind of transfer, the allegations, the allegations what we have been hearing in the history of Karnataka probably such a corrupt Government has not been seen in the state of Karnataka. Probably the transfer mafia, what we see in the state of Karnataka, is too much. In the terms of collecting money from the contractors, from the officers, they have been literally looting. It has been called YST, it has been called uh, DKS, all kind of taxes, DKS tax, YST tax, all these kind of taxes. And he has been making, see already the investigations are going on, probably the money trail. The money trial will lead to where who has collected money, all this truth will also come out. Probably the money what was seized, it was just recently. Even in the previous government, ask him about the Ublo watch. Who gave him the Ublo watch? How he got the Ublo watch? How many months he was wearing it? After how many months he realized what was his accountability? What was his responsibility? He's such a clean person. Even recently, his son was seen speaking to the, some officer, to the CMO office, directing, directing, literally directing them to obey his orders. This is how the, uh, the government is functioning. They have been thick-skinned, they are unaccountable, they just want to, you know, give this kind of uh, insensitive answers. Have I been caught taking money or taking money from... The, the many people have been seized, many places the money has been seized. It leads to them only. The finger is pointing towards them. It's very clear and it is very well known. Now, basically, I just want to talk about the Congress party with this regard to the guarantee scheme because they have been climbing very tall promises, tall climbs. Basically, I want to just, I don't want to deviate from this subject. My subject today is basically with regard to, you ask me anything about the guarantee, anything about the Congress government performance. If you ask me, I'll just stick on to this topic. So, I want to focus only on guarantees because this is what Congress party in Telangana, they've been campaigning everywhere with regard to the USP, unique selling point of guarantees, what Congress party will deliver. What we have delivered in Karnataka, much more than that. If they have not delivered anything in Karnataka, we want to tell that, let them answer these questions. I'm just giving you the figures, whatever has been released are done in the state of Karnataka, the official figures. Many leaders are there in Karnataka. Many, many leaders are there in now Telangana campaigning. Even our Munratna can talk to you very fru uh, in, fluently in uh, whichever uh, subjects you want, he'll talk to you later when he's in uh, other day. But today, now this time, we'll be talking about only guarantees. So guarantee has been a cheating. Complete cheating, they are not delivered what they have delivered. Even with regard to the Anna Bhagya, what they had promised, it is not happening. They had promised 10 even 5 kg they are not able to provide 5 kg rice ok they are not able to provide rice they are promised money even the money they are not doing the DP why it is not BJP government responsibility BJP government the government of India is giving each month 5 kg rice 
So whatever government of India has promised, it is delivering. Whatever the Congress party has promised, they should deliver. It was their responsibility without making any arrangement. Okay, they have not delivered rice, okay. Even the cash, 171 rupees per month for the 5 kgs, what they are in the place of 5 kg of rice, they, they had promised for 171 rupees. Even which they are not providing. In the place of 6,500 crores, so far they have made only 1,900 crores payment has been made. DBT, easily you can uh, transfer the money. Even during COVID, we were able to transfer money to each and every person. Is it so difficult? Now Aadhaar seeded, authenticated, already the system has been working. The system which have been used by the people for many years, it is so easy, but they are not in a position. Where is the money going? Karnataka is a very prosperous state. It is not a poor state. Per capita income is highest in the entire country. They are not able to perform. See, at least the money, any, any money, it is the same money. Even the money they are not able to transfer. See, Congress party, even Telangana, United Andhra, they have seen Congress party, how they have performed, what is Congress. I don't have to introduce anything about Congress. Congress has been literally uh, sent out of Andhra Pradesh, cleaned out of Andhra Pradesh because of their bad performance, the trust they have, what they have lost in the people. Now, with regard to the guarantee, let me make it once again very clear, with regard to the confidence level, you are talking about the confidence level of the Congress party, Congress party in the state of Karnataka itself, with regard to all these five guarantees, it is completely failed to deliver. With regard to the numbers, what I have mentioned, the numbers, the Anna Bhagya, they are not able to deliver. With regard to the Gro Lakshmi, they are not able to deliver. In the place of 9,300 crores, what was started in the month of August, let me tell you the numbers, 1 crore 28 lakh households. The registered households are 1 crore 16 lakhs. It was launched in the month of August. Launching in the month of August, till now they should have, you know, released the amount of 9,300 crores. So far they have released only 2,100 crores. Only not even one month amount they have cleared. So what kind of guarantees are they giving? The transport system, all the four corporations they should have received by now 2,500 crores, only 104. 140 crores only has been released. So completely all these guarantees have failed. It is only they know to cheat, they know to fool around. They are a big liars, they know how to lie, they want to cheat, they want to fool around. They are just telling everywhere the Karnataka model. Karnataka model has completely failed. It's only election model, it is a cheating model. So it is completely false, whatever claims they are making, it is completely false claim. They make a neat brochure, they make a neat brochure, just give it to, keep it very safely, keep it very safely, immediately once the government comes to power, immediately will give you all the guarantees, plus one guarantee in the Telangana. So six guarantees, whatever they are promising, they are just telling people, immediately will do, we, whatever card we are giving, it's a guarantee card. It is not a guarantee card, it is a cheating card. Anything? Thank you. Thank you.